Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne. When you listen uh, to teachings on the book of Revelation, uh, if you're interested in the book of Revelation, are you uh, listening to the right person? Uh, uh, are you listening to someone who uh, understands the book of Revelation uh, and uh, is uh, doing according to this warning? Or are you listening to someone who disregarded this warning and is preaching who's destined for hell? Uh, there's many preachers uh, that are preaching on Revelation that have officially had their names taken out of the book of life. And when they die, they'll be going on to hell. Uh, who are you getting your information from? There's this uh, warning in the end of uh, the book of Revelation in the last chapter. Um, and uh, it says, For I testify to everyone who hears the words of this prophecy of this book, if anyone adds to these things, God will add to him the plagues that are written in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of this book of this prophecy, God shall take his part from the book of life, from the holy city and the things written in this book. So what does that uh, warning actually mean? It actually means if you take one page of the book of Revelation or you take uh, chapter 22 and uh, you uh, write a book or make a 10-page article on what uh, Revelation chapter 22 means, you've added uh, to the book of Revelation, you've added to it. And uh, if you're teaching on the book of Revelation when the two witnesses are on earth and disseminating plagues to the people, you'll die of one of those plagues. Uh, the two witnesses are going to straight away uh, do a plague on uh, people who are teaching on the book of Revelation. It's such an important book that uh, it can't be spoken on. Um, but if if you uh, uh, write 10 pages uh, based on one page, of the book of Revelation and you've added to it. If one paragraph or one sentence of your 10 pages that uh, you've made is wrong, it isn't uh, exactly right, uh, you've taken away from the book of Revelation, you've taken away from the seriousness of the book of Revelation and your name will be taken out of the book of life, which means you go to hell. So uh, ev nearly nearly every uh, one of the popular teachers that teach on the book of Revelation, all the book writers, all the people doing conferences, all the people teaching on the book of Revelation, they're all ignoring this warning. They don't think this warning is true or they don't understand what this warning is actually saying. I uh, was told... Uh, by the Holy Spirit, uh, what this warning meant. And uh, it was uh, a great apostle that was teaching in my country that uh, knew every verse in the Bible and he understood every verse in the Bible. He was in town and I asked him, does this verse, does uh, this verse mean what I think it does? And he said, what do you think it uh, means? And I shared with him if if you preach on revelation you'll die of one of the plagues and if you get anything wrong uh with what you teach you'll go to hell your name will be uh, taken out of the book of life he said that's exactly true and uh he said you can only preach on the first three chapters of revelation the letters to the churches but then you can't preach on the rest and uh a year went by and i was in a car traveling on a six hour trip with him again. And I asked uh, the same question, uh, does this verse mean this? And he says, yes, it does. And uh, I exploded and I said, do, do you realize that's how many millions of people uh, that affects? You know, it's all of Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, all of uh, Jehovah's Witness 
uh, camp and uh, all the Seven Day Adventist preachers. Uh, it, it's so many people, and uh, the car broke down. The car blew blew a water gasket, and we broke down on the freeway. And the apostle said that I'd caused the breakdown. My explosion had caused the breakdown. Uh, so I know this uh, verse is true, and I know the revelation that I have on this verse is true, and I know the sad consequences uh, for the teachers of Revelation. So if you've been reading books on the book of Revelation, if uh, you've been listening to preachers on the book of Revelation, people who preach on the book of Revelation, you're listening to someone who's a dead man walking. You're you're paying attention to a person who's a dead man walking. Um, they they are they're destined for hell, and there's nothing they can do about it. You can't uh, write them an email and say stop teaching on the Book of Revelation, because they've already expounded on the Book of Revelation and they've made a ministry of it. Uh, you'll remember uh, in uh, in Matthew seven, I'll uh, I'll get the verse uh, for you to uh, have a look at it uh, uh, with me. Um, Uh, so, uh, I'm uh, getting it uh, now. Uh, uh, verse 21, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? cast out demons in your name and done many wonders in your name. And I'll declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Uh, you may uh, look at that scripture and say, uh, who are these people? And there's many people who preach false doctrines uh, and uh, like uh, people who preach a prosperity doctrine like Kenneth Co Copeland and Benny Hinn, uh, they're people who are in that category that uh, will be dismissed uh, when uh, it's Judgment Day. They'll be dismissed to hell. Um, and uh, they've got anointing and they've got power and they've got following and they've done signs and wonders and they've cast out demons, but uh, they're going to hell uh, because they teach the wrong doctrine, the prosperity doctrine. Um, these uh, same uh, people who have taught uh, uh, the um, the uh, book of Revelation are dead men walking. They're, they're actually anointed at the moment and uh, they've got spiritual power and they're leaders in the charismatic church and they're popular and they've got a platform. Uh, but when they die, they'll be in hell because of that warning. And I, I wondered about this scripture and I wondered about these consequences and the Holy Spirit explained to me that um, the, the world is uh, like in a chess game, like Satan is having a chess game uh, with Jesus. And uh, at the beginning of every chess game, uh, unnamed moves, um, you can only... I start a chess game with a certain amount of moves and to professional chess players, each of those moves have have got a name or all, all those openings, all those chess openings have 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 got a name. And uh, the end moves, uh, the last moves you make before checkmate, they've got names too. And um, the Holy Spirit explained to me that the book of Revelation, and the meaning of the book of Revelation is Jesus' end move. It, it's it's the way he does the end move uh, in the game of chess. And if you're a chess master and you're playing uh, for the world championships 
and you're in the world championship match and you're having a chess game uh, with another world champion and uh, you're playing uh, the world championship match, you'd be foolish to tell your opponent what your end move is going to be. You'd you'd be foolish to uh, tell your opponent what your strategy is because they'd be able to apply your strategy to their uh to their moves and win the game. And uh, the book of Revelation and the description of the book of Revelation is Jesus and move. Uh, these are the things he's going to do at the very end, and that's his strategy. And so he wouldn't publish it. He wouldn't make a book explaining what his end move is. He, he simply wouldn't publish and make popular uh his his end move uh and so that's why that warning is in the book um because uh anyone who knows the meaning of that end move when they understand that uh uh warning they'll keep it silent so there are people uh in the world who who've got uh serious revelation or pretty comprehensive revelation of uh what the book of Revelation means, but they also know what that warning means and they keep it silent. Uh, they apply it to their life and they apply it, uh, it to the preaching of the gospel and they preach the gospel and they uh, do uh, the signs of the kingdom uh, with their audiences, but uh, they don't teach on the book of Revelation. They understand what it means and they understand the ramifications of it but they continue to preach uh, the gospel of the Lord and they don't teach on revelation. So there are people with revelation of revelation, but they're silent and they keep silent. There are certain uh, teachers on the book of Revelation have been, who have been given authority uh, by Jesus to teach on it and everything uh, they teach on the book of Revelation is true, and when they expound on uh, books in uh, Revelation, they get 100% right. And uh, there is uh, one major teacher who teaches on Revelation from time to time, which I'm not going to mention his name, uh, but uh, he's okay by Jesus because uh, he came to my city and I asked Jesus about him uh, since I knew about the warning. And Jesus uh, told me he was authorized to preach on the book of Revelation. But I only know of one teacher on the book of Revelation, this person. All, all the rest uh, are under the warning and uh, disobeying the warning. So are you spending your time listening to a dead man walking? Uh, uh, are you uh, taking uh, notes and learning from a dead man walking? Do you know uh, that uh, the Holy Spirit uh, wouldn't allow uh, a publication of a book with uh, Jesus' endgame? He wouldn't uh, warn uh, Satan uh, with uh, what he's um, going to actually do. That's why there's so much controversy around the book of Revelation. That's why everyone's always arguing because there's no truth. The people who know the truth don't publish books and don't do videos. The people who know the actual truth and what that warning means don't talk about uh, Revelation except uh, on a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a friend if the friend's asking questions they don't preach they don't publicly write a book or or do a series of uh of uh shows on, on the internet so uh i just want to tell you that uh uh if you understand if you feel that you understand the book of revelation is based on what someone else has said or someone else has preached uh, you're possibly wrong about uh, what you believe and what you think you know. 
Uh, if you've been studying uh, the book of Revelation privately for years, uh, you may have come across uh, what it actually means. But if it aligns with what uh, one of the dead men walking have said, uh, then uh, it's not the truth. Uh, if if your truth on Revelation aligns with a major book or a major teaching series, it's not the truth. Uh, and uh, so um, the truth on Revelation eludes most people. Uh, and uh, it's uh, for God's hands, it's for God's knowledge. And uh, the people who privately uh, keep it to themselves, they're instrumental in bringing the gospel home because of that information uh, that they know. Uh, spiritual gifts are powerful uh, and effective um, and uh, knowledge of, of the book of Revelation is powerful and effective, uh, but uh, your spiritual gifts uh, operate more fully the more you know about them. The more you know about the gift of prophecy, the better you'll prophesy. Uh, so uh, the people who understand uh, the full meaning of Revelation and how it's going to play out they're more effective and uh, they're uh, more powerful uh, with that knowledge, just like having knowledge of the gifts of the Spirit. Uh, but they don't necessarily preach uh, on the meaning of revelation. Um, so are you listening to a dead man walking? Uh, I um, there, There's an Australian uh, preacher uh, that uh, I don't like, and I had to... I work out uh, why I didn't like him. And uh, I think his name is Steve Coccinelli. Um, and why I didn't like him was uh, the Holy Spirit in me was saying he's a dead man walking and it's a waste of time listening to anything he has to say. Um, and uh, that's true of uh, many people. So um, if uh, that uh, false prophet who... Uh, prophesied uh, Trump's assassination uh, continues to uh, make videos saying he'd seen the rapture, he'd, he'd seen the tribulation, and he'd seen this. Um, he's uh, crossed himself off according to that warning, and uh, he he's a dead man walking. And uh, every uh, major, every major teacher on the Book of Revelation is a dead man walking, and. Uh, that may be sad for you because norm, normally uh, people who follow uh, the book of Revelation are right into it. Uh, it's the only interest they have and they continue to read books and empower themselves with their supposed knowledge and they feel important. Um, and the truth of the matter is uh, that uh, they are... Uh, 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 listening to dead men walking and their knowledge is useless. Um, if uh, you uh, know the truth of Revelation and how it unfolds, uh, it would disagree with every book and every video you've seen. You'd, you'd be a person in disagreement with all the major teachers because you know the truth. And, uh, and I'd suggest you don't teach on it or write a book because you'll find yourself uh, become a dead man walking. Uh, so um, I felt uh, it was important uh, to share uh, this video. Uh, I thought it was important uh, to uh, share this knowledge with people. Um, I will say I've, I've, I've known uh, this truth for 20 years and uh, I've shared it uh, with, you know, at least 50 people. And only two people that I know of have received the revelation of this. In, in other words, 48 people out of the 50 didn't believe that warning meant what I said it was. So I imagine uh, if 50 people uh, watch this video, there'll only be one or two likes of the video. Uh, most people uh, will listen to this and reject it. And uh, if you're still listening, uh, to this video, there's a good chance you're going to reject uh, this uh, revelation. And uh, that's just par for the course. Uh, the, the warning has been in the Bible for all these years. 
And uh, most people uh, think the warning just applies to Bible translators about uh, leaving verses out of the book of Revelation or adding verses. Uh, the Apostle John wouldn't have uh, put uh, two sentences in such an important book just to warn a handful of uh, Bible translators. Uh, it's more important than that, but that's what most people think it is. Um, so I hope uh, you learn something from that. I, I'd uh, really appreciate your comments, uh, both good or bad. Uh, if you've got scathing things to say, I, I don't mind reading it. Uh, if uh, this was a revelation to you and you accept it, I'd love to hear from you if you could comment on the video. Uh, God bless you and uh, and keep you. And uh, if uh, you learn something from this, perhaps you want to subscribe to my channel. God bless.